Each day, eight people are killed, a thousand are injured in crashes that are the result of distracted driving. Well, one school did something very unique. They took it upon themselves to raise awareness, but a lot of people think they took it too far. Texting and driving is a serious and deadly problem, and teenage drivers are particularly vulnerable. So one Wisconsin high school decided to take extreme measures. One morning, just after the Pledge of Allegiance, it was announced that four students had died as a result of texting and driving. After 10 grueling minutes of tears and distress, the students were informed that it was all a drill and no students had died. Is this the sort of wake-up call kids need to stay safe? Or is this a cruel and unusual cautionary tale? So this was really taking it to the extreme. I was befuddled by this line of reasoning with the high school, but I want to ask you professionally, Dr. Phil, what does something like this do? And yeah, you're trying to raise awareness. And you you're know a lot to... about the law. I mean, what, what becomes so outrageous the reasonable person would think that this is just so out of line that you should have never done it. Well, clinically and professionally speaking, that's the most idiotic, moronic damn thing I have ever seen. Yeah, in my I, life. I mean, that can create an emotional trauma from which some of these children cannot recover. Not all children are the same. Some of these children are walking a razor edge of emotional adjustment, and this pushes them over edge from which they may never come back. This can create PTSD. It can create anxiety neurosis. It could create a psychotic break. This is absolutely reckless, moronic behavior. And there are more than enough real life stories where teens are dying or their lives are ruined. At the end of the day, when you say, oh, we're just kidding, you're almost belittling oh, the entire message as well. This was so well orchestrated. I mean, with with uh, pictures of the deceased, yeah. the violin did, music. Seriously, I mean, how sick. did nobody in this group raise their hand and say, wait a minute, we're going to do what? How, how did not one person in this group raise their hand and say, this is well, it, it is important to note, obviously, terrible execution in our opinion, but nearly 60% of crashes when it comes to teenagers, it involves distracted driving. That's one to remember when you talk to your teens about driving safely.